techies and techettes. Man, oh, is there a lot to be said? There has been two updates from AMD and from NVIDIA, and a rumored price has arrived now for our 1390. Around 2K, they say. I mean, he came in for some decent sources, but what's going down, everyone? My name is Mac, you're the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be covering some NVIDIA related news with a new driver, some patch notes, and some, well, as you can see, tech related news. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Now, as you join me here in our little Infinity Fabric, you're going to see that we have the new release drivers right over here so you can go ahead and pick those up if you want if you want the technical points but i go to reddit it's pretty chill when it comes down to some things because they just you know keep it to the short things and we're going to go ahead and pull it to our pure overlay and we'll go over to see what the new features are um so basically what it does perform into the microsoft flight simulator apparently that was the big deal it took flight for both the drivers they were quick to respond into that world of warcraft and its shadows makes another pre-patch on top of their public release on top of the total war saga and troy and tony hawk pro skater plus one and two that one i was a little excited about i was like oh that's like old school maybe yeah you know bust those you know moves but looking at what the syncabilities that come into the list that are going to go ahead and be already highlighted right over there we're going to come down to what it basically fixed now shadows of the tomb raider may have crashed inside of the launch and the hardware accelerator which has been a big issue for a lot of um, well-rounded tests unfortunately death stranding also makes the list for the texture and the corruptions inside of the gameplay uh, for as far as the gt 1600 series and the rt 20 series for the gpus so those should be pretty much pretty hopefully hammered out if not leave a comment down below because i'd be curious because that game is really good like super good if you haven't played it now you have so many more options you can play it on pc and i want to play it on pc honestly because i'm thinking about maybe getting that 30 90 they were at least a 30 80 ti you know i, I want to get that but getting back to the point where we're going to get down to test results and i'm just going over my overlays here you can see my playstation where i'm getting that music feed from uh, but looking at past that before we jump into the patch notes where we close this up we see that forza always makes the list for you know the stutters at least it's not the curb anymore yeah i, I gotta give them that much they at least can, they moved forward as the corruptions in the occurred inside of the other portions of the mobile generation and the game stimulation of the simulator is no longer there it kind of sucks but several games inside of the few seconds in the gameplay were afflicted by the including portions of pretty much almost everything Ubisoft touches in the Assassin's Creed series, followed by this error code, the 303. Moving on, Assassin's Creed, no longer an Eka Ninja, no thank me. Don't do it at all, because I just figured out your secret. <laughs> uh, oh, if only they had that, like, you know, lovely portion of being stealthy. Anyways, Ubisoft, moving on. NVIDIA has a control panel that moves towards the portions of the display and the resolution where the HDTV and the timing was invalid. Wow. That would... Well, that explains a lot for a lot of HDTVs out there and their timing looking a little... Well, not in sync. Sometimes in the displays when they said the windows and the night light enabled, it goes cray-cray. Apparently the green tint just completely comes down in showers, just like the snow appears when inside of the waking, inside of the HDMI, inside of the monitors, and the notebooks coming into the tuning portion of the display off and on. Well, yay. Yeah. Open resource issues are a lot to be had. No longer inside of 7, but seems like a lot of 10, especially. Oh, look, the curb. It's still there. See? Forza. Who would have known? Uh, but this link will be down below. You guys and gals can definitely check that for as far as the open casing and see if those are something that is afflicted to you. But one of the cooler things that I end up sizing up into this is benchmark scores, which I like. Uh, if you're new to the network, you can always hit that like and share. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can do if you like. Um, but if not, you know, hey, get cool for some benchmark scores at least. Those are coming up next and we're having a very interesting topic with the, well, is the scheduling even worth it? And will scheduling have anything else where it has variable fresh rates? It depends on what your monitor is sized up to in order to intertwine with that. Sometimes the variable fresh rate kicks butt. But for this test, I utilized a, let's see here, my 1060 and my 2080 ti and you know for the rtx we got all the fun things and then we have like the basic kind of like i guess kind of really behind the road nowadays if you look at like where the spectrum of gpus are going because it's gonna be really cool during september and going into like november oh gee golly <laughs> it's gonna be fun 
all new technology but as we have passed the 452.06 in its testing works, it, they do come in pretty well rounded. But what I figured out as we look at some of the very beginning tests, we're going to go ahead and look at, well, Fire Strike. So when sizing up Fire Strike, the one on the right is with the accelerator off. The one with the left is on the accelerator on. So NVIDIA is doing a great job with Tandem with Windows and they're doing some really great Windows support between themselves. Seems like with the last few updates that Windows has offered with the circumvent, it was really good, actually pretty decent. But here's what ends up happening after. With the current driver installed without any Windows updates right now, because they, you never know when they'll actually end up updating and it fixes a lot of stuff. Right now, it seems like there is a little bit of reduction with inside of Firestrike, just a tiny bit, not too much. So at this point in time, with the best solution, I would say, and through the conclusive scores that I did throughout Firestrike, just if you notice a title that you're using that uses DirectX 11, turn off the advanced scheduling. I think it might work for, for right now that's kind of what i say for the nvidia users turn off the event scheduling kind of sucks at least until the next windows update and then if you notice an issue toggle it back on i know this is the world we're living in text zero zero one it's off and on it's off and on isn't that ironic it's a little funny actually uh, but moving on past the off and on of the switch of what goes on with here and on my channel uh we're going to be going ahead and look at the direct x 12 because it's actually kind of the reverse which was i thought was a little bit hilarious so it actually worked with it being on so they need to kind of make a balance i feel like so if you're playing a direct x 12 game and it doesn't size up then it's like okay but at least it's consistent with the tensor cores the tensor cores with it off work really well i noticed with the advanced scheduling off so at least if you're using direct x 11 and it's using ray tracing you're in like flynn seriously but let's go ahead and take a look at some benchmarks. So, old driver, and we have advanced scheduling completely off on the like right, and we have it on with the left. So you can see, oh, oh no, oh no, it's the no, what's going on? It should be working, right? And with the new driver installed, you see that consistently with it off, it actually works better. It beats it by a few points, though it does get a little bit, you know, tippy-toed towards where it having it off, but, you know, maybe being on, but I see no point. Just at this point in time, if you have DirectX 11 and ray tracing, leave it off for now until Windows updates. With the old driver, you see that with the advanced scheduling off, it doesn't really work. With the advanced scheduling on, it really does work. It, it's hilarious. It's just like, I wish they would have one word all synced up, but I really do think that this is Windows, not really Nvidia's fault, because it plagues the AMD, which I'm really excited, because I got a patch note for that coming up soon. So, techies and tech hits, stay tuned as we look into the extreme version of this. Even by a few points, it still beats it. But that pretty much brings us to the very tail end of what our patch notes are. So cheers everyone for staying tuned, stay safe out there. And if you are new to the network, you can always subscribe. Who knows, maybe if you're new to the network and you do subscribe that, you know, a Ferris wheel will be free at every single amusement park. It'd be amazing. Sometimes you have to pay for that stuff. And I feel like a Ferris wheel should just be one of those, like, you know, it's the Garceland on the plate. But if they do that, you should always subscribe. Who knows? Maybe you'll see. I'll be on the dude that on the like, you know, the Ferris wheel and be like, we'll be reviewing tech and be like, look, the Ferris wheel and tech. It's a movie. But anyways, everyone, I'm getting a little too excited about a free Ferris wheel and technology. But I'm more excited about the technology because that's like really soon and really doable. But I'll see you guys and guys in the near future.